In the last episode, we got the walls up and straightened, and the trusses arrived, but so did the rain, and we had a rain delay. In this episode, the trusses go up, with the help of some neighbors and Mrs. Rover. Now let's just back up a little bit and see how we got here. The trusses arrived a couple of days ago, and over the last week, I've been preparing the walls by making sure that they're perfectly straight and that the studs are plumb. So now I have a couple of neighbors coming over in the next uh, half hour and they're going to help me set the trusses and then after they leave I'll brace them against any wind that may happen tonight. At the same time about half an hour ago I just received a phone call from the well digger and they'll be showing up now we've already marked the site that we want the well, so it should go fairly straightforward. I should be able to handle both of these at the same time. Okay, I'll just get a couple of nails in and this one will be done. So now there are times that you're going to have to stop and get real serious when you talk. Like we do on YouTube. <laughs> Look at the camera and get real serious. <laughs> Oh, let's just take a moment to enjoy. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's in the center. <laughs> it was Now's the time to tell me that stuff. Went up pretty quick. Okay. I could spike it by hand here, but I guess. It's only this one that we'll be doing rough like this and then I just realized when I've got the, got the thing on the wheels I should be using the scaffold oh yeah <laughs> you know, it's a little bit long on this thing like it's hanging out a little bit about no that's fine because yeah. there'll be a two by four that goes on that end it oh, should okay. it should be hanging out an inch and a half you yeah. use it okay it's probably uh, very close to that yeah you better also be doing it. And I'll get a screw up there and we should be good. This is much easier than Shane's, Jerry. Yeah, this is easier. Well, how wide was Shane's? <laughs> well, his was, uh, his was uh, 28. And he had a vault. But it had a vault ceiling. Oh, the vault. And it was uh, 512. Okay. So there was It all adds more difficulty. There were 100 and what? 117 or 127? What, the rafters? Yeah, oh, 127 pounds. Or 117. And you're tight on the flat there? Yep. Tight as I can get. Okay. Now I've just secured this first truss to the strong back that I've built. Now the strong back is nice and plumb, so by screwing this truss to the strong back, I now have something solid that I can attach the rest of my trusses to, keeping them all two feet on center. Hey guys, How you doing? good. It's all happening today, is it? Well, today. So you found the. Uh, That's our marker, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Great. So Carl was here about a week ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you see any problems with putting the well right there? Nope. Okay. We're far enough from the road. We're about 150 feet from the septic, so yeah, it should no, be that's, good. It should be good. Well, the well diggers get right to it. And they're done in a little over an hour. In that time, they've drilled a well 110 feet deep with the top 40 feet as steel casing. The rest of the well is drilled through sandstone. Now, the static water level is at 40 feet, but the well itself has a rate of 15 gallons per minute. That's enough for about five households.
The next day starts off with fog and drizzle. But that's not going to slow us down. We're still going to get this roof strapped today and we're supposed to get a bit of sunshine this afternoon. Now that the strapping is complete, it's time to put the fascia on. Now, to help me out as I'm working alone, I've attached a couple of temporary brackets to the trusses. This will help hold the fascia in place while I attach it. Attaching the fascia to the gable end is much the same as attaching it to the eaves. time to change gears again. I have an excavator and a dump truck showing up and we're getting our backfill done today. In no time at all the backfill is complete. Now it's time to get a bit of grass seed and barley 
put down to help protect the foundation against frost. The practice of topping out, that is, putting a branch on the new roof. It's an old, old tradition that goes back many centuries. It's said that by doing this, you appease the tree-dwelling spirits that have been displaced by the gathering of the lumber for this building. <laughs> 